In this section of building 3D dungeons, I'm going to start building my walls and shaping them and cutting them out. So I have my thick piece of wood here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it up like this because this is approximately four inches, and when I get walls on either side, it adds up to four inches. This is my size of my wall, and if you put it here, I'm going to make all of these the height of my wall. So that I'm using this is the width, and I've drawn out some doors here. And I used a uh, normal size mini for scale so that when I stick him up here, he'll be able to fit through my door. Now I've used uh, an arched top and I used this little circular piece of uh, Hero Clicks terrain to mark out the template of the top of the door. And then I used my T square to make the sides to draw down the sides of the door. Now you, I, I also have here some square doors and I have plans for making some double doors. I'm going to leave a couple of them blank. And I've cut a couple of them out and it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to put little hinges on them so that they swing out. And I wanted to save this piece here because this is my door, obviously. Um, somebody suggested using a hole saw to cut this out and then cut it and then but then we would lose our door so um, the way I achieved this is I used a hacksaw and you want to use a keyhole blade and the keyhole blade is very thin and it looks like this and I'm gonna cut a couple of them out using my um, jigsaw and what I do if, if you have a table saw or a band saw Bandsaw is going to work the best, but I, since I, I don't have one and most people don't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jigsaw and I'm going to stick it in a vise upside down and I'm going to use that as my bandsaw. But um, my next section is I need to make my keys and I'm going to be cutting these out and showing these off a little bit more, but the base of my key is an inch and a half and the top is a half an inch and these are two inches high and we're going to cut a keyway that's a quarter inch thick because that's the thickness of our wood is a quarter of an inch and it's going to go down one inch and then on our walls which are going to be going this way we're going to be cutting our other key up one inch and a quarter inch so that these will fit together kind of like this so that we'll have our stands to stand our walls up now with the regular pieces, since we're going to have like a, a whole lot of these, four inch ones, I'm going to need some six inch, some eight inch, and some ten inch. Now I'm going to stop at ten inches because um, up past ten inches, you can just link walls together and build them that way because the twelve inch wall is just two sixes put together and, and so forth. So <clears throat> we're going to need a lot more of the short ones than we will the longer ones, like for the ten inchers. I'm only probably going to make like two, maybe three 10 inch ones, but I'm going to need a lot more six and eight inch ones than that. So I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure off six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and it stops at 36. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 6 six inch walls. Now I need some 8 inchers here. So it's 8, 16. And then I'll have one, two, three, four. Then I'll have a four inch section left off of that one. So that's one, two, three, four eight inchers. We make two ten inch. So that's ten and twenty. We make one more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
going to make me two more eights. So, grab my T-square. Now these wall pieces, these this is like the easy part. Making the doors is going to be, and the keyways is going to be the harder part. Now for my keyways, I need to split these up evenly along the edge. And we only really need two keys per. So this is a 10 inch. And if I split the difference, I'm going to go two inches in at 2 inches and 8 inches and I'm going to go up 1 inch 1 inch and that way my quarter inch keys are going to match with my key stands so I'm going to cut these out so that they'll match up with my keys that I'm going to build and I'm going to continue to draw these out and then we'll move on to cutting these.